Robert Whitman was a pioneer of the happenings in the late 50s and early 60s. We're restaging the exact set that he'd built of a key work from 1960 called American Moon. This is very much him returning to that kind of primary narrative of the moon and what that might be. In 1960, man hadn't stepped on the moon or folks hadn't been on the moon. And it was this kind of other mythic space. Now, when I was building it, I like the idea that building the piece, you build it and in, in, if you have enough time, you can let the sp specific little images sort of formulate themselves in the context of what it is that you're doing. And I like that. I like the, what, that way of working so that you're not stuck. I would say it's been quite an exciting project to get to be a part of, to go from just having video fragments and a script to having this entire set built out, learning a full score. It's been kind of thrilling in that way to fit all the puzzle pieces together. And then on top of it, to have Bob in the room to kind of give us his input, be that from the perspective of now, what he's interested in today, or from this perspective of what was important to him about the original work. It's a rare experience. Now I remember these forms that were in the central space beginning to move like this. There were, there were two things that got pulled up. As I say, I'd call them puppets or something, this big thing. And there was another ball-shaped mouth person scurrying around in the space. There is this, you know, piece from a long time ago and we're interpreting it. You know, you have to enter into it with this spirit of Everybody's figuring it out. Nobody really knows what we're going to do, but it will all sort of fall into place. Because of the, the way we're using different objects in relation to each other, the space, and then the, the original concept, I think I'm really invested in the piece itself and the kind of making and the unmaking of it at the same time. Yes, I am a performer and one could consider it a performance, but it feels like it's situated in a different dimension, let's say. I love works where you're kind of, part of the performance is being like a stagehand or kind of moving the sets. There's a few moments of human. I feel like otherwise we're just kind of either puppets or kind of more in this task-based stagehand role. The ephemera, the costumes, the, um, the materials, all of the materials are the, the thing that make the piece what it is. And then we are sort of the puppeteers that get to enact this um, magical play space. It was so nice to dive into someone else's work. You know, you're assisting, you're helping their uh, period and history be a staple. And Yes, it's important. You know, what is it like to to watch your piece being performed? So I think I was just really in awe of him and his wife just watching and just like trying to imagine what that would feel like. I think there's a tension in this process and other processes of restaging happenings between trying to preserve that original spirit of the work without trying to fix something in a way that perhaps kills the spirit of the project. So I think that we're definitely kind of riding that line between wanting to embrace the original ethos of the work, as far as I understand it, while also trying to be particular to list small details about what made it sort of valuable in the canon and why we're restaging it to begin with. 